Hey all, Ryan here from Planetary Lapidary, and welcome to another episode of Cutting Rocks, where I take rocks and fossils I find on the western shore of Lake Michigan, cut them open and see what spills out. So today you can see we are going to do some sandstone. So the first three are Jacobsville sandstone, you know, the characteristic red and white. So I'm going to go right down the middle of that one. Here's one that's a little more white than red, but I'm going to do the same thing right down the middle. And then the third one, same deal, right down the middle again. Get as much face as I can and just see what's inside of these things. See if there's any cool patterns. And the next one I think is sandstone, but I'm not 100% sure. It feels like sandstone. It's very, very gritty. Um, it could be just very worn basalt. I'm not sure, but I'm going to cut it anyways. I'm going to call it sandstone. It totally feels like it. We'll see when I cut it. Um, but I'm going to do the same thing. Just get two big faces on it. And then the last two are um, like sandstone conglomerates kind of, or brescias that have like this, it's like just starting to want to be quartzite sandstone, like this stuff. And then it's got all other stuff all through it. These are the ones I, I like call picture stones. Hopefully I get a nice cool picture out of the middle actually. So I'm going to go right down the middle of that guy. And then this one is that same thing, you know, it's sandstone, but it's had a little bit of heat on it um so we'll see we'll see if there's anything inside this one there's some white patterning some purple maybe i don't know maybe chert in there some black chert um but we'll see you know these are it's kind of like a morph i kind of well i don't know i guess i wouldn't call it quite a morph yet it's still sandstone you'll see when i get inside of it probably but i don't know we'll see so we're going to use the 10 inch high tech slab saw thin centered blade um, and remember, if you guys use high-tech tools, you want 10% off your accessories, you can just type in PLANETARY in all capital letters when you check out, and you'll get 10% off all your accessories, so don't forget about that. All right, let's get this thing set up, and we'll get cutting. Okay, so through the first one, had some patterning. Let's see if it's inside. Oh, that's really cool, actually. Kind of has a red line right through the middle. Ooh, I don't like that, though. It's a big fracture or something right there. Big line through it. So that kind of sucks. But it's not uh, breakable, so maybe it's just a little fracture in there. But I think that's pretty cool. You know, this stuff shines up a little bit, not a ton, but it does shine up a little bit. So maybe I'll be able to get pieces out of there if I can grind that down, maybe. But yeah, I'd say one for one. All right, let's get on to number two. Okay, that one went just a little wonk on me, so there might be some blade burn in there, but I did get a nice piece right off this side and this side. Oh yeah, a little bit of blade burn. Let's see if I can get some of that off. But not a ton inside this one either, but kind of cool. Got a yellow stripe going up, red right there in the middle, so I'll be able to do a little standing stone out of that. This stuff, you know, like the, there's little grains of quartz and, you know, other stuff in there with the sandstone, so it's... You know, takes a little bit of a shine. Then this one you can't really tell because it's got that big blade burn in the middle, but pretty much exactly the same thing. A little bit more red. It's that right there. Some more burn. But uh, yeah, not too bad. You can kind of see the little glimmering yellow in there and like the yellow stripe up. That's cool. So I'll be able to use those and they both have totally flat bottoms. So I can just shine up the vases. All right, two for two on the number three. So here's that other Jacobsville sandstone. That last one, I don't know if it was. That could have just been a sandstone that had some red in it. So I don't think that one was, but this one definitely is with the red and white. So let's see. Ooh, yeah. That's kind of what I want, you know, where you can see those little white pockets and like see the graininess of the whole thing. So those will be cool too to shine up. You know, this stuff, the, the red in this shines up pretty good. 
So yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted. Enough spots in there to kind of fill out the whole thing. So, all right, three for three, let's keep going. Okay, so this one was really, really soft. So I'm thinking this one is probably even smaller than sandstone, probably mudstone. Um, and it actually stunk too when I cut it. So maybe some sulfides or carbonates or something in there. But let's see what's on the inside. Oh, look at that. That is really cool actually. All the brown thicker stuff in there. You know, it's very, very gritty. So yeah, I'm thinking it's like a, I'm thinking it's all mudstone or siltstone and it kind of gets the stink in there because it's so packed together and so small that it gets little part particulates and stuff in there. Makes it stink when you cut it. But I think it turned out really, really cool even though it's not sandstone. It's even cooler. All right, on to the next one. Okay, so my hopes for this one is that I get a really cool landscape picture in there on both sides, but we never know until we pop her open. Ooh, not quite landscape, but really, really cool. Got that black line going through with the big grains, and there you can tell it's sandstone right there in the, you know, just the look of it. You can tell that it is. But that's cool, so that's some thicker I don't know if that's sandstone with bigger chunks in there, brushated chunks, but it'll still turn out really cool, I think. You know, it'll have a differential shine for sure. I think that black will shine up a little different, but awesome. All right, let's get on to the last one. Okay, last one. So now you can kind of see the color of those little specks in there when it's wet a little bit more, that kind of blue color. So don't know what to expect from this. It does have cool patterns, but there might be nothing. There might be something. So let's see. Oh, that's actually really cool. Those little blue spots, definitely sandstone. Now you can tell it got something little included in there. Some black spots, not too full. Um, but it'll still probably shine up cool. And it'll, this will be a nice little piece. With that blue, I'll shine up the outside too and shine right over the blue or the purple. But not super awesome, but still a win for sure. Definitely cool, uh, cool to see the sandstone formation in there. So, all right, so if you like this video, leave a like, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for some close-ups at the end, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.